Hey Switchheads, hope you're well. Kanan here and welcome to my review of Space Otter Charlie. A kind of space-faring, gravity-defying platformer kind of thing. But before we get to all that, can I just mention our community Discord where we do lots of crazy streaming during the actual week. The link is below, go join it and join in the fun. And with that, let's see if these cute little otters have what it takes to get onto the Wall of Fame or the wall of shame or maybe even somewhere in the middle gameplay and so long story short you are a otter and you're in space otters in space after all the earthlings leaving themselves because of the earth and global warming i think they leave and the planet starts to replenish but it starts getting hotter as well and therefore it's your turn as the otters to get yourselves out of dodge as well the game is relatively easy to control with a jump button and that jump button when you press it will catapult to you until you hit another object and then there's a thrust button kind of like a jetpack. You can use this to actually move yourself around the areas a bit easier as you can't actually walk around at all. Now if you hit an object you can slide on the walls and everything so that you're catapulted forward in that direction. And then a little bit into the game you get things like weapons and if you land on certain objects you can use that weapon to actually cat catapult yourself in a given area and that will also help you get past some objects that you need to get past without being injured. Now you also have like a shield and your actual weapons can be upgraded and your boost can be upgraded. Basically more or less everything can be upgraded so that you get more or it protects you more or does more damage or damage in a different way. And while this is a little bit fiddly to start with, the game does a nice little job of introducing you to it all and getting you into the swing. And in the end, it works quite well. The game is set in multiple locations, unlocked as you actually play the game and go along. More enemies and obstacles are added as you actually go from location to location. And this feels like it's making the actual places fresh and different. There are plenty of obstacles. There are like keys that you need to pick up to actually go to different sections there's teleporters, buttons that need pressing to either turn something off or to access different areas and also as you go along there are interesting facts that you can pick up about otters and also crew logs that you can read and it tells you what's happened to them and the like and you can also find upgrades for your weapons and your equipment and these can be upgraded by collecting certain resources and going to a upgrade bot where he will then ask you to choose what you want to upgrade and then you just upgrade it as long as you've got the parts. And then there's these little blue orbs that you need to collect and take back to your main ship. They'll all be put together and that helps your progression onwards into the actual game. And while we're at it, I may as well mention the fact that there are sometimes little alternate directions that you can take in this game, little alcoves and all that aren't really shown, but you can actually get through them. And they're kind of like secret areas sometimes as well that really are worth exploring as well as the actual main body of the game. And lastly, before I move on, I want to mention the boss battles. They are all different, all kind of unique, and they're actually fun, or at least I find them fun anyway. There's also a couch co-op four player mode where you fight in arenas. Unfortunately, I had no one else to play with at the time, so I've not been able to document this, but it's there if you want it. Graphically, I find the game very nice, very cute, very you know pleasing to the eye i like the style i like the little like animations when you're actually playing the game i really enjoyed the cutscenes as you're going through the actual game they're really nice i know they're only stills but they were actually really nicely done and really helped me engage with the actual main story and the actual game to drive me forward all the actual animations of the characters and the surroundings were okay and did the job and I felt the enemies had a certain level of detail put into them as well and I even enjoyed the death scenes which were quite funny and kind of specific to what you actually got killed by which was kind of neat 
sound wise there's quite good music while she's actually playing it the sounds are kind of i don't know they're okay they're just not to the same level i felt as the rest of the game but it was still pretty good and you could tell they put a certain level of effort into it The good. I loved the actual cutscenes, they were really good. The boss battles felt different each time you went to one. Nothing too taxing, but nothing too easy as well. And I felt the gameplay had a really good level of thought put into it. The bad. The controls I felt were a little bit finicky to start with and took a little bit of time to actually get used to. And I felt at first also it was a bit weird to actually not be able to move around without using the jump button first as in walking on things but that's more my problem because obviously it's an actual mechanic of the game. The score. Okay so I'm just going to go straight out and say it. This is definitely a 4 out of 5 and a pretty high one for me. This game is definitely something you should be picking up if you're into this sort of platformer or any different platforms actually. It's just a fun game to actually pick up that's actually got a good level of humour about it. And as for my alternative I found it hard to find something exactly like this so I'm going to suggest you try Robonauts. It's quite a nice little game, it's fun and it's got that kind of like jumping around gravity feel to it as well. It's a game that I own and I've had a lot of fun with and also my daughter owns it and she's had a lot of fun with it as well. And it's just a nice little game and it goes on discount quite often so it's probably worth picking up then for definite. And so any comments you may have, leave them down below in the comment session, that is where they belong. And don't forget to join our community discord as well, where we do many different streams during the week and we just basically hang out and have fun. And if you've enjoyed any of the content that you've seen, you know what to do, because life is better when we switch together.